make it a big mistake. You don't know whose money you're taking. Sure I do. Mine. Sometimes the numbers have been adding up. And you know that I know that this is all a result of you fucking me. So let me tell you what I'm finna to do. I will let you keep all that you have acquired, secretly acquired, and I'll just walk away. How you like that? Are you going to kill me? Yeah. You can leave now. Craig, I'll walk you out. Beer or something? No, nah, kid, I'm good. You mind if I grab one? Sure. Knock yourself out. Where's my 
my money, Chance. It's up there. Just a phone. A fucking phone? Do I look like I need a fucking phone, boy? I want my money. I swear. It was up there, right, right where I left it. You should have. Silent. Detective Muntz.
Thanks, Willie. Frank, this guy says he's been looking for you. He's from the city. Mr. Wilson, I'm Detective Munts. You're not an easy man to find, Mr. Wilson. Sometimes when you can't find a man, it's because he don't want to be found. You here to arrest me? I'm not here to arrest you. I'm afraid the news I have is much worse than that. He used to be a cop. I've heard stories. Real badass, but got the job done. some chance. Not long enough. I'm the one who found it. Right. Wilson. What chance is that? Charlotte. I'm sorry. I just... Sorry. I just know my son. I work at a casino. Name a casino. It doesn't happen here. No name. Really? She has to play cards there. Told me when he wasn't sleeping. Playing poker was like his job. I'm going to my son Chance. He is. I know. Thank you for coming. complex right now did some digging he was uh he was killed the other night what a shame look under every rock do everything you have to do to find out who did this to that boy i'm gonna head over to this charity now what a shame
you going to do? I need to borrow your truck. You know, if uh, Molly Ann was still alive, you wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, I know. But you know them city cops on us, huh? Yeah, they two shits about us. How long has it been since you shot a man, Frank? a couple bag full of guns you got there. What's that for? We call them negotiation tactics. Shit. <laughs> yeah. This is Karina, the new supplier I mentioned. Listen, we uh, just got rid of a lifelong supplier. And, um, well, I heard a lot of nice things about your family. My family has been in business for a while. I think you should try us. Well, Volume, how about volume? You got a lot of product. You know what you want. All right, babe. Listen, we're gonna have to talk about Desmond. My son, again. Frank? Jesus, you look different. And by different, you mean, uh, like shit? Motherfucker. 
Look who it fucking is. I just got the fuck out of prison, man. You play evidence to me. I did three fucking years. Sorry to hear. What's that, motherfucker? I guess, uh, what I remember was that you sold some dirty drugs to some kids and they all fucking up to the time. And the jury didn't convict. It's a free country, motherfucker. Ah, fucker!
sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I just want to hear a joke. Good one? Very good. You're going to like this one. All right, Sadie, she's in the old age home, right? She's got dementia. She wears this little tiny nighty, and she goes around knocking on all the doors of all the guys that live there, and when they open the door, she starts pulling up her nighty going, super pussy, super pussy. She knocks on Herschel's door, right? Herschel answers the door. She starts pulling up her nighty, super pussy, super pussy. Herschel looks at her for a second, and he says, I'll take the soup. <laughs> Hey, shut up, shut up, shut up. Who is this? Let's try this again. I'm Chance's father. Who is this? Who was it? Nobody. Fucking deal.
What the fuck? I think my eyes must be playing tricks on me. <laughs> I hate to sound like a walking, talking cliche, but uh, I thought you was dead. Oh. A lot of confidence in me, huh? What are you drinking? I'll take a double vodka. <laughs> Some broad Finn knocked up, apparently. He still goes by her last name. Now, since she passed, I guess the kid wanted to go work with his daddy. And, you know, Finn, he's always looking for a loyal helping hand, so he agreed. And he showed him the ropes like only he could. And the cards? He runs a card game once a week. The house always wins. Can you help me find <sighs> He hangs out at the Razor Room every Thursday night. Should hold club over on the west side. You're not thinking of walking in there like you're Dirty Harry or something, are you, Frank Wilson? Because with your reputation, it would be silly of me to think you wouldn't, right? I'm not a cop anymore. Once a cop, always a cop. How the numbers, man? How you doing, son? Good, Bob. All right. Can I have the usual? Yes, sir. Give me a minute, bro. What's on your mind, Dad? I was thinking about the family. I was hoping you could kind of open up to me and talk to me. I don't like to really talk too much about myself, but it seems like I've done as much as I possibly can for you. You know I love you, son. And I would step in front of a motherfucking bullet if I had to. But I can't really teach you if you don't listen. I do listen. Rather than being stupid and arrogant and thinking you're smarter than everybody else, I wanted to try to beg you one last time to act right. <laughs> I'm always giving you respect, Dad. Well... We just have sort of a different way of looking at life. <laughs> so I'm gonna say this one more time. I would really, really highly consider getting rid of your criminal friends, treating people the way you want to be treated, bring something good into this life. Because we're at the crossroads now. And if you make the wrong decisions, you go fuck up the rest of your family. You could end your own life. I've done nothing wrong, Dad. You got something to say to me? No, sir. I got nothing to say. You got nothing? No. Not a thing. Yeah. <laughs> 
anything in particular you're looking for? Desmond. Packard. how he got it. And don't. The guy used to be a cop. He asked me to run ballistics on him. Gimme. Huh? That's so fast. I mean, I could just turn it in. Evidence alone will get you 30 years. If I 
promise you I'd just get rid of it before someone else shows up and takes it from you. Anything else, Detective? Yeah. I got a feeling this guy's not gonna rest until he gets justice for his son. Yeah, whatever. Me and the boys will take care of him. But then you and the boys might need to know where he's staying. Mr. Wilson? Uh, how do you know where my parents live? Oh, that is not hard. Nice place. You got a minute? What did you want to talk about, Mr. Wilson? You took that money. I didn't mean to. I love Chance. Well, you greed. <laughs> Got him killed. I, I didn't mean for this to happen. I, I just, you know what it's like. I just wanted to get out of here. I just wanted to leave this place and everything forever. And I was waiting for things to settle down, but Chance didn't want to leave. He was never going to leave this place. Not even for me. I'm sorry, my dear. Wait, please. You have to believe me. I did love him. You loved him? I loved him. Mistakes. God knows we all have. Tough part. You have to live with it. Forever. I suggest you leave town because if I found you, I wonder who else will. Good luck, Charlie.
What happened to your face? Some shit like that. What happened? Blue 
was right out front. His car on fire. Huh. Shit. Guess that's why they call it the theme park for outlaws, right? Right. Get those test results back yet. Test results. Ballistics. Detective. Oh, yeah. Um, no. Yeah, that, that takes a while. Yeah. Get backed up and everything. But you'll be the first to know. You're not going anywhere, are you? I'm gonna head home. Really? There's not shit here for me, is there? Right. Give me a call in a couple days for those test results. So I spoke with the Special Investigation Division. Oh, thank you so much. And you were right. They have no record of the bullet or the gun that they gave Mintz. I mean, what the hell does Mintz have to do with this? What are you going to do? Leave the ship. What? Look, they already came after me once. They're probably going to come after me again. Now, if I'm at my house, that's self-defense.
I know that motherfucker's dead. He's dead. I killed him. Had a boy get the fuck right. Fuck you, bitch! This one's very good. I'm taking months. I'm with the police department. Ashley Millett. Yeah, I'm in charge of the investigation involving Mr. Wilson's son. What can we do for you, detective? Well, I heard he was injured. I figured I'd come by and ask him a few questions. Does he look like he's in the place to answer goddamn questions to you? You guys see anything? No. I heard a shotgun blast. Can somebody help me drag him out the water and call 911? We flew him here. This goddamn place. Middle of the city. Last place he'd want to die on the globe if he had its choice. You have any idea who might have wanted to do this? Oh, I thought that was your department, detective. Of course, it could have been anybody these days. The world's going to hell in a basket right um you have a way i can get in touch with you yeah there you go have mr wilson give me a call as soon as he wakes up People are coming for you. 
And I don't want to watch you die. If he's coming for me, I'm going to kill him first. Get on up the road, boy. You got it. Watch your back. something, boy? Boo. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Two old hillbillies would be so hard to snuff. <laughs> you hurt one of us, you fight all of us. That's what family does. Wow. Ain't that some heroic shit? Oh, no, thank you. <clears throat> what, you worried he's gonna kill you? I was born dying. We all were. I've been waiting all my life. You just gave me a reason. That is a depressing outlook, old man. No, not if you use it to make the most of the time you've got. Is that what you've been doing? Out here? In this shit shack? I wouldn't expect your city ass to understand. <laughs> the woman. Who is she? What does she know? Just an old friend of Frank's. She ain't her mother. How about you? You talk to the cops? People out here, we don't talk to no police. There's a problem, we, we settle it ourselves. Sort of a tradition. Mm -hmm. You know, I got some traditions of my own I can show you. You're gonna shoot me? Or bore me to death? I got 
family up there waiting on me, up there where I'm gonna go. So I don't need to listen to a little boy trying to sound like a man when he's just a piece of shit wrapped in human skin. Yeah, I'm at the bar, drinking on the job, detective. You know an officer that does it? We work in one of the toughest cities in the country. No, it ain't no Chicago. I'm surprised you boys haven't taken care of this guy yet. Yeah, look, you know what you do when you get an itch, right? Scratch it. You rub it out. Considered a donation from Tino Finadere and Desmond Packard. Get it done. Piece of shit. You like another? I'm just give me the bottle. No, just, just give me the bottle. Get the bottle, the bottle. I'll take the bottle. some answers. He's all head left, Ash. You have to stop blaming yourself for everything, Frank. Even Swilly would tell you that. Swilly's not gonna tell me anything anymore, is he? And I'll stop blaming myself. And I'll stop being the cause. He was asking about. 
And so what did it say? I can't give him any more information over the phone. But, um, have you seen him? Or maybe you know where he's at? It's your lucky day. I'm right here. Frank? Listen. Yeah, I got those ballistics results. I can be by chance department in a couple of hours. Why don't you meet me there? We'll see you then. Thank you. 
look at me. Cut a bitch 